God Consciousness, Chapter 39, Part 3 For the moment, in this little brief period of the story of your species, you have managed to get far, far away from the reality of where you come from. You are using nature to do this. When you decide to live in tune with nature, you will see a big, big shift in how you live. When you decide to live in tune with me, then you will see the true nature of your nature. When you give your free will back to where your free will comes from, then you will have free will. This is not some clever word game. This is the deeply important part. It is where you get to make a choice, again, right now, to listen to nature and to do what you listen to is telling you to do and listen while you go about doing what you have listened to. This double whammy is very, very important. It ensures a sort of feedback system of self-referral that keeps you very much on track with nature, with your nature, with the nature of your nature's nature. Living with the guidance of nature is being able to hear the trees talking to you. You are able to listen to the clouds. You can hear the moon speaking to you in your own mind. I know this sounds crazy to some of you, and it should sound crazy. Let's put it this way. If it doesn't sound crazy to you, there is something wrong with you for sure. Or else, maybe, just maybe, you are onto something finally real. The odds are that you edit most of that crazy stuff out. Most of you have been trained to edit out the direct telepathic communications of nature. You do not hear the water singing to you, and you do not hear the rocks talking to you. And I do not mean that you hear voices coming from inanimate objects. Not Voices like you hear coming from the mouth of human beings. No. I am talking about voices in the form of thoughts coming into your awareness, transmitted to you telepathically by the consciousness inherent in all of nature and particular to that object and the parts that make up that object. Essentially, it is nature communicating with in nature. And it is part of your nature to be able to listen to this communication. Learning how to listen to telepathy is, in part, learning how to not edit. It is also about learning how to listen to what is real and what is not real, and to learn how to tell the difference. Mostly all you have to do is ask me for guidance and counsel and be with that part of yourself that can be with me and listen to what I am saying to you. Ask for clarification, confirmation, verification as you need to. Ask in the moment.